Greetings everyone, Najwa Ahmed here, owner and creator of Empower Dance and Fitness. I am here to just bring you a few simple steps of how you can jumpstart your routine in terms of fitness and health, okay? So I am super passionate about women um, being as healthy and fit and happy as they can possibly be. Um, as a woman, I know that it's super easy sometimes to let other things get in the way of us exercising or, or eating right. Sometimes our jobs or our career can take priority. Sometimes our family or our friends can take priority. And sometimes our significant others can take priority over our own health and fitness. And I get it, you know, we're super selfless beings. We wanna take care of everyone and everything else. But the truth of the matter is, ladies, if you are not as healthy and happy and as fit as you can possibly be, you are no good for all those other things, all right? So you kinda of have to be a little selfish when it comes to making sure you get your exercise in and you eat right and you are having a great time in life. That is your top priority. You have to be your top priority, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. There should be no guilt associated with making yourself your top priority so that you can be the best for all other things. But I also know that's not so easy sometimes. So I've just come up with a few simple things that you can do to jumpstart your fitness journey and really get back in the habit of getting fit and healthy and happy, all right? So I'm big on the law of attraction and speaking things into existence, but I'm also huge on reducing those things to writing, okay? So it's important to put these things into writing, also into your constant thoughts. So I'm gonna write down the things that I say. As you can see, I already have number one up here. Find your favorite activity, okay? So it's important to find something that you absolutely love to do. I mean, I'm sure you might have embarked upon something and didn't enjoy it, and so you did not keep doing it. So when it comes to your fitness and your exercise, make sure it's something that you love, something you enjoy, something you really look forward to doing um, whenever you have to do it. So if it's running, if it's swimming, if it's dancing, if it's rock climbing, whatever it is, make sure it's something that you look forward to. That way, it won't be a chore to do it. And you will be benefiting not only physically, but mentally and emotionally, okay? So we're not just fit in terms of physical, but we're fit mentally and emotionally too. Super important. Second thing you want to do is check your eating habits, okay? So I'm going to write this up here. Your eating habits. Ladies, I cannot express enough how important it is to know what you're eating, to know what you're taking into your body. You don't want to be taking in things that are going to increase your caloric count, things that are increasing your sodium, things that are packing on the weight. You want to eat things that feed your body, that increase your metabolism, that help restore your muscles after you've exercised, okay? That comes along with education, no problem, you'll get it, but you just want to definitely look at what you're eating. It's about 80% of your fitness journey. So if you are someone who does work out really hard and you're not seeing the results you want, it's probably because you're not eating the way you should and it's okay. All you have to do is get some more information and you can totally make that change, all right? So super important, check your eating habits. All right, number three, you wanna make sure or try to find a workout buddy, okay? You can join a gym, you can join a fitness studio. If you're doing home workouts, find an accountability partner who you guys can work you know, together to encourage each other, but it's really helpful to find a workout partner. So find a workout partner or join a studio. Usually when you join a studio, you find ladies that you can really connect with and you guys will have similar goals and ways to encourage each other. A wonderful idea is to treat yourself after you've reached a goal. So if it's like, I'm going to lose 15 pounds after that, I'm going to treat myself to a new pair of shoes or I'm going to treat myself to a massage. A wonderful, wonderful incentive and sharing that with a workout buddy is a lot of fun, okay? So we wanna make sure your, your whole fitness journey is very holistic. It's not just about hitting the gym and exercising, but it's about enjoying the entire process. That'll keep you really invested, all right? So number four, 
You may want to join a fitness challenge. Joining a fitness challenge is like a ready-made fitness um, package given to you. Usually they come with um, things for you to do each day, exercises for you to do each day. Sometimes they come with meal plans. But most importantly, kind of going back to number three, it comes with a group of people who are trying to accomplish very similar goals, okay? So join a fitness challenge. Those are easy to find. You can Google them. You can look on Facebook for them. Some of them are free. Some of them are um, come with a fee. But usually that is a great way to create a habit of getting fit, okay? So, you know, it takes 30 days to make or break a habit. So if you're trying to, um, if you're trying to develop a habit of fitness, of exercise, 30 days is a great amount of time to do it. And a fitness challenge is a wonderful way to do it, all right? Lastly, but not least, of course, actually one of the most important things is you want to be, I'm going to write this in all capital letters, be consistent, okay, exclamation points, be consistent, ladies, you can work out for a week, feel good, but if you don't continue doing it, you won't see the results you really need and want, okay? So give yourself two to three times a week to work out, four is even better, but two to three times a week to work out and do it for four weeks straight. Ladies, by the third day, you will feel, uh, excuse me, by the third week, you will feel different. You'll feel stronger. It will not be as hard as it was on the first day, but by week four, you will absolutely see results if you're, if you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, okay? So consistency is key. I cannot express it enough, okay? So hopefully that was helpful for you. As always, you want to be safe. Check with your doctor before you start any new exercise regimen or exercise routine. You want to make sure that you are um, having a great time and again, enjoying the entire process, not just the workout, but you want to look forward to going to it. You want to love the way you feel when you get done. Here at Empower, we offer challenges. We offer classes seven days a week and we offer support to help you reach your goals, okay? So keep checking back with us for more videos and tips and we hope that you have a wonderfully empowered and fit and healthy day.